Lexi! Hey everybody, this is Game Freak 10124 and I'm going to be starting off this video with Slim Kirby lately has been starting off the first videos of his new Let's Plays. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, welcome to my next Let's Play of what is hands down one of the most incredible Mario games and video games in general of all time. Let's play Super Mario Galaxy. This game came out more than 12 years ago, and it still holds up graphically and gameplay-wise to this day. It's a, an absolutely incredible game. Um, got awesome, incredible music, um, and it introduced a lot of stuff that's been either they've re like used for future, like went off from for future Mario games, Galaxy 2, 3D Land, 3D World. Super Mario Odyssey, um, there's a lot of references to this game in future uh, video game titles. Uh, there's stuff in other franchises I'm unaware of, but of course future Mario games, Super Smash Brothers, um, much like Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, Super Mario 64, and Super Mario Sunshine, this is a very, very important game to the series, especially moving forward from this game. <clears throat> like, all, all of these main platformers, Mario 3D platformers, of course 3D Land and 3D World are platformers, but like, the ones where you collect power stars, in the case of Sunshine, shines. Super Mario 64, Super Mario 64 DS, Super Mario Sunshine, Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2 and of course 3D Land and 3D World are all and very have all been very important to how amazingly incredible, outstanding, etc. the Super Mario Odyssey is. <clears throat> um, I've watched several Let's Plays of this game over the years. Um, at least one of Dragon's two seven ones he's done in the past, probably two of them. Um, Slum Kirby. And there's others, but I'm not going to mention other people besides those two until near the end of the Let's Play. Um, I am going to be con mentioning a couple things right now as far as this Let's Play goes. Um, first, I might as well get off from this and continue to a screen that I think has different music. There. But anyway, a um, couple things to mention now about this Let's Play. Um, I'm considering this to be a... Um, continuation for myself, a dual continuation of two different Let's Plays that I've watched, which I just mentioned them previously, Slim Kirby and Dragon Ball Z in one because they both, of course, played Super Mario Galaxy doing the Mario part. I'm actually going to be doing the Luigi playthrough. Um, I will be titling the videos um, Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, but when I do my intro, hey everybody, I'm going to say welcome back to Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Because I'm titling it Super Mario Galaxy because that's the name of the game, but I'm going to be calling it Super Luigi Galaxy because I'm doing the Luigi playthrough. <clears throat> um, and of course I'll also be showing off the thing that you unlock for getting all the stars in the Luigi playthrough. Um, there was something else I swear I was wanting to mention, and I'm not being able to remember it right now, unfortunately. Um, there's a couple stars that Darvin Moose 7 one couldn't um, get in his Let's Play. Um, I'll have to ask him in a comment on one of his videos what they are so I can mention them in this Let's Play at some point. <clears throat> um, but this is going to be, of course, the intro video. Um, I was going to title it Zero, but I'm going to include more than... I was originally going to do two different things, but I'm going to 
like it it for like an episode zero and an episode one, but I'm just gonna have this be titled episode one. But I'm gonna before getting into the Luigi playthrough, I'm gonna use my one empty file. I've got file six to show off the introduction of the game because when you start up the Luigi playthrough, the game throws you further ahead than when you start the Mario playthrough. So I hope I've mentioned everything I wanted to mention at the beginning of this before actually starting this. But yeah, uh, as far as, in ter I just realized one other thing to mention. In terms of my history of playing the game, um, I got the game, it was either Christmas of 2010 or 2011, 2010, 2011. Um, I got this and Galaxy 2 both that year because I'd seen playthroughs of Galaxy 1 on YouTube but never played it. So, and I hadn't gotten either of the games previously, so I got them both for the one Christmas. Um, I played, uh, th this, Galaxy 2, I've had to, I know I've played more than five times. This game, I guarantee you, between the Mario and Luigi playthroughs and all the times i played through on my, both of my Wiis, the white Wii and the black Wii and the Wii U, I guarantee i played through this game 100% more than 10 times. I play this game a lot, it's really fun. It's always enjoyable to go back to, especially with um, me being good at the game and knowing tips and or knowing tricks and shortcuts and ways to get through the game faster. I like to play through this. Have loved to play through this game so many times and Galaxy 2 in the past to see how fast I can get through the entire game 100%. So I have a lot, a lot of history with this game and Galaxy 2. The ga again, the gameplay is incredible. Mario's controls are nearly perfect. Um, the I think I said, already said soundtracks are incredible. The gameplay is very good. <clears throat> the story's not heavy, but most Mario games aren't really story heavy anyway. Even with Sunshine having the cutscenes, it, it, it didn't. It wasn't incredibly story heavy. It was the only time Bowser was ever fully voice acted by, with actual speaking words, and the only time Bowser Jr. was fully voice acted and not just saying certain things that he says such in games such as Mario Kart Wii, where he talks, or is like, whoa -ho, or whatever, something like that, but anyway. <clears throat> that said, now that I went over my history with this game and Galaxy 2, this should be everything I was wanting to mention before finally diving into this. So let's get into file six. Create a game on this planet. Um, when you first start off, you have the, the selection from these, whatever your me is of your console. Um, Mario, Yoshi, Toad, and Peach. Um, I don't think I have a Toad yet. I now I have Mario, Luigi, and Peach. And my face. Yeah, and uh, I'll show off this real quick on a completed file. Um, yeah, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think Luigi is the only extra one. So let me go back to this one again. Yeah, so pardon the car in the background outside. I have my windows open to keep my room cooled off. Um, so. When you first start a file, you have these five to pick from, and once you beat the game and get the unlock the Luigi playthrough of the game, then you'll be able to use Luigi's face for the file icon. But anyway, so what I'll be doing is playing this to show off the introduction to the game, and then I'll be um, hitting the home button, going to reset, and then going to my Luigi head file to. Um, do the other part of this introduction video. <clears throat> so, all this having been said, it's time for me to finally hit play this file. And there's certain, like, during, there's gonna be cutscenes in the beginning of this. The, there'll be certain points where I have commentary, and like, when cutscenes are playing, uh, certain cutscenes are playing, I will be having the commentary off so you guys can enjoy the cutscenes with no, no, no talking from me, no commentary and no background noise. Background noise. I hope that no points I've been talking too fast. I'll make a couple of those apologies now, even though I've kind of gone away from mentioning that like I did when I first started being able to record Let's Plays with the Elgato. Um, but 
apologize for if any points I talk too fast or you can't you guys can't understand me. I tend to clear my throat a bit sometimes. <clears throat> um if you guys ever hear stuff in the background such as outside with my windows being open or outside my room, because where I live is close quarters, I apologize in advance, and if there's anything else I regularly apologize for that I'm not thinking about, I will mention it throughout the course of this let's play. I guarantee you that. All this finally having been said, let's finally now actually hit the play file, play this file button. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless st shooting stars raining down. The Toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. That power star has a specific name, you guys will find out though, or later on in this Let's Play. Well, actually, in this first video. <laughs> It should have been a very happy it should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you. From Peach. From the very beginning of the game, they start off with this awesome, epic soundtrack. There's these things you collect. I, the, um, um, one thing this game makes use of is motion controls and the um, motion sensor bar for the Wii Remote. I'm pointing this, this at the screen, you guys see that little star cursor? I'm using it to collect these items. I'm not going to tell you guys what these things are yet that I'm collecting. If you, guys, if you guys don't already know what they are, you will find out later on in the game because the game will explain it to you what they are. But collect them often because you'll be needing to collect a lot of them. Oh, the guests are here! Time to party! Because I showed off all the Toads in Mar 64 and Mar 64 DS in my one video of Let's Play Super Mar 64 DS, I'll show off all these Toads since there's not going to be too much Toad talk beyond everything that's here. Ah, you're the last guest to arrive! Glad you can make it! Evening, Mario! Hey, Mario, see this? I have grabbed as many of them as you can! Yahoo! No thank you, I'd rather Google. <laughs> Pick up star bits, point your curse, your Wii remote, and move them over with your pointer. Welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom! So those things are called star bits. You guys will find out more about them later on in the game. Hey, you're here! I'm not putting as much effort into my voice because I don't want to lose it. I'm already needing a drink and don't have water nearby. <laughs> Won't be drinking until I'm done with this video, so... The castle is just on this path, you can't miss it! The view from here is just the best! La 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 la! Let's collect the star bits. Perfect for collecting some of these star bits. These star rabbit things look like candy, but they're actually star bits. So they're so sparkly. Now you made it. Everyone's grabbing on the star bits they can. Yowza! Just look at these star bit things. Yay, star bits! Isn't the star bit the shiniest thing you've ever seen? Richard's Peach is waiting for you at the castle! Woo! Woo! Good evening to you! Thank <laughs> you. 
Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. <laughs> this festival is over. He sure has a gorgeous eye. <laughs> Won't be my entry video without this crap happening. <laughs> Can't remember if that happened with my first le video of Let's Play Mario Kart Wii or not. <laughs> it's Bowser! Take the princess! I'll oh, oh, stand guard here! I don't think you can go further back. Yeah. That would make sense. What should we do? I want to rescue these toads, but I can't. How could this happen? Panic and fear! Panic and fear! Everybody's trapped in that crystal thing! Oh, Bowser! Princess is this way! Go to the festival is ruined! So stay calm, everyone! Yeah, you say just before you fall over. You mean to jump on your head? Oh, it's just. It's all just too horrible for words! <clears throat> this music that's playing here is a remix of the airship music from Super Mario Bros. 3. Interesting camera angle from this direction. You think you'd be able to climb the trees, but you can't. Going to make my or going to my happy place, trying not to panic. The princess is just up ahead. Any other toads? Looks like there isn't any besides the ones that are trapped in crystal. I'll get to you in a minute, Peach. I want to make sure there's no other toads for me to talk to. I don't think so. All the rest of them over this direction are all cased in the crystal stuff. I don't know what those that stuff is called. I'm sure it actually has a word for it.
enjoy the fight! That sounded too much like a toad. That sounded too much like a toad. <laughs> so long, enjoy your fight! It still sounded like a toad. Whatever. And, um, as long as the thing will let me, I'll let this play out, then when Mario gets up, there, at this point, stupid weird remote and nunchuck crap, <clears throat> I'm gonna hit reset. <clears throat> Because where Mario woke up there, that's where you start off the Luigi playthrough. Why I had to create a new file to show off the intro of the game to you guys, is I wasn't going to not show that off. And one other thing I'll mention before getting into this to start the Luigi playthrough is... I don't know of any others, I'm sure there's more than just this one, but even though I have not watched it myself, a good Super Luigi Galaxy Let's Play to watch is Chugga Conroy. <coughs> I apologize for the clearing of my throat. I just realized all those star bits I was collecting didn't even matter because of it being a different file. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> oh well. And when it comes to Luigi, he jumps higher. And his long jumps, I think, get a bit more distance. But as a result, like, the, his drawback is much like in Lost Levels. Um, and probably other Mario games, but Lost Levels for sure. He has... He's slippery, so like he won't stop on a dime. Like you, like running, push on the control stick for Luigi to walk, and you uh, let go of the control stick. It'll take him uh, somewhere between one and three seconds, I think, for him to fully stop. Now you can like stop him on the spot with a ground pound, but even then, he still continues going a little bit further. But Luigi's definitely better than, better than Mario as long as you can master being able to make best use of his control, like, because again, you want to get his controlling him down, because until you get controlling him down, he can be a bit awkward because of him having that slipperiness to him, to his physics, of the physics of how he moves. <clears throat> Let's play hide and seek! If you can catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are! Is yeah, there's a crater, but there's also one that goes all the way through to the other side. <clears throat> Oftentimes, I more often than not, I usually go through the one hole to the other side. Now, don't worry, guys. You don't have to worry as long as you're going for full hundred percent. You don't have to worry about catching his bunnies nearly as much as you did in Super Mario 64 DS. But there are instances where they can get annoying. One specific instance we'll, that you guys will find out about way later on in the game. You caught me! Aw, oh, well, I get into the pipe! And yeah, you ca as you catch each of them, you will, um, like, they will give you a hint as to where one of the other Lumas is at. And this is since they it straight up tells you. Because of course, you look for a pipe, you find a pipe, you're gonna find the frickin' Star Bunny. These things are called Star Bunnies. You got me! Also, one thing I forgot to do with the other Luma, I'm giving the, um, Star Bunnies the voices I gave, gave them, but the Luma voice is gonna be higher pitched. Also, I didn't mean to say the name of these creatures yet. Oh well.
I'll be giving that voice. Other than the couple of instances, I'll be giving all our Lumas that same voice. So, oh yeah, I know what the grass is it's talking about. I don't know exactly where it's located offhand, but I know, I'll know where it's at, at, at when I see it. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was I was looking for a bigger part of an area of grass than it actually was. So anyway, come on. And don't bother long jumping because it's not really going to help you catch up to them faster. I don't think. If I'm wrong, someone let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> I can't believe I let myself get caught. Definitely not exactly the same, but I just realized my voice for the Luma sounds similar to Pipsy from Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> yeah, as I thought, the other Luma's up top. <clears throat> Please don't trigger the cutscenes, I want to go the other way around the frickin' thing. Okay, so actually, that's the... Oh, whatever. Wasn't expecting this intro video to be so long, but I had a lot to mention for the introduction of the video before getting into the cutscenes, and I've been talking to Toads and mentioning other things, so... So let's not approach... Well, whatever. Anyway, if you guys have played Super Smash Bros. 4, 3DS Wii U, or Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, or seen it played, or other games this character's in, you'll know exactly who this character is. Please forgive me, I'm trying to figure out how my voice is. I may have to test it myself a little bit before I actually know what it was going to be. I have a rough idea of what I'm going to have her voice be, but I may not get it how I want it to be my first try. <clears throat> I've been watching you from here. This place is co- Okay, it, it might sound a bit awkward, but I'm giving her British voice. Part of my reason for getting it- Well, two reasons. One, she looks elegant, so I'm gonna be giving her this voice for that reason. And also, there's a point in the game where she says thank you, where I swear she says- or swear she sounds British, and always thought she was- until I heard more of a dialogue at some other point in the game. I can't actually remember what, what that point is or part offhand right now, especially because I've been talking so much. My mind's kind of eh right now. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Sky Sky. Not the kind of voice I want to give her, but whatever. I could just talk in my normal voice, but I don't want to do that for her either. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save a special one, you need to power to travel through space. <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Oh, duh, no wonder. I'm a moron. I should have realized that I wasn't finding the third. Wouldn't find the third Lumen because it's the one that's underneath Mario slash Luigi's hat in the game. You have the ability to spin now. Shake the Wii remote. Disaster struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you.
<clears throat> As I mentioned in the past and Let's Plays I've done so far, um, and if I haven't, stuff I've uploaded to YouTube in the past, Rosalina is my favorite. I think Mario character and fictional character of all time, but if I've never mentioned it, I'm, now, I'm mentioning it now. Now, ordinarily, I try and skip this Loomis text, but for the sake of this playthrough, I'm not going to. Hey, can we are about to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin new enemies to stun them! Yes, that's it! Come on. Finally getting to some full on gameplay here. Hey, I need to you! I have a bad news little see ahead! Hey, the lots are all ready for you, but if you're smashing up, you can't leave a lot of so find all the tire chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to throw on the black hole! Cause that death. Where are all those star chips? Got a Goomba there. They changed his dialogue to make it sound better, more proper with language, grammar, or whatever, but this one, they, in the first game, in this, when you first collect one up in this game as opposed to Galaxy 2, it says you earned one edition of Luigi Mario, of course, if you're playing as Mario. Ready to go now. Spin. But yeah, I haven't really talked about the spin jump. The spin jump, you can use it to spin enemies, break glasses, or these crystal things. As you saw after having talked to Rosalina and getting the ability to spin. And it's also used to fight bosses. It's, you 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 that do various things, plus it's also come on really. You have to talk to that look. You have to shake the weird one to spin them around and make them dizzy once they're still just run into them. I probably didn't read that. I know I didn't read that that well. You have to talk to that Luma to trigger the um, Goomba that actually has the key to spawn because all the other ones look different. This one has a, is a different color and I think a bit taller. I want to see the other Goombas that are different color. Like, you spin them, you get star bits. They're coins, whereas normal humans give you star bits, plus they spin around on their heads. I can demonstrate some point. Um, I think those are the Goombas that were in Super Mario... These Goombas right here. I think these were the ones that were in Super Mario World. I don't know for sure. Can't remember what I was saying before unintentionally walking into the, where the Luma was and then that distracting me. I completely forgot what I was saying, and I hate the fact that that's a thing, and on top of that, it's kind of hard for me to be able to think right now because of there being a TV show on in the other room, and that distracting me further. Oh, with spin jumping, or spinning. Um, another thing, purpose you can do for spinning is, like, like use it when you're over pits to avoid dying. You can use it to get more height. Spin jump is it's a basic technique, but it's very, very important to utilize as best you can in this game but get used to shaking the Wii remote a lot because you do it a lot for the stuff in this game um, when it comes to what they did with the motion controls in this game they did an incredible job of utilizing that in this game in Galaxy 2 thanks er crap thanks for the virus for my buddy in that bank up there Chico I'll transform to a sling star just jump into me after I transform <laughs> uh, 
That'll demonstrate now. The regular Goombas, if you hit them, they spin like that and you can get star bits. Or if you step on them, like... It'll, it'll, as it as is, has traditionally been the case in Mario games for many years, you'll get a coin instead. And much like... Uh, I w I'm fairly certain Sunshine, and I know for a fact the Mario 64 games, um, you collect a coin and it will restore your health. However, unlike the Mario 64 games, you actually only can take three hits. Which isn't really that big of a deal, because unlike Super Mario 64 and Super Mario 64 DS, you don't take fall damage in this game. You can fall, uh, uh, fall from as high of a spot. No matter, it does not matter how high or low from a spot you fall, you'll never take fall damage, so... Yeah, of course, this giant Goomba has the key. I could be wrong, but I'm barely certain that's the only giant Goomba in this game. Yeah, I really no other star bits or anything else to collect. There is a Luna here, though. You take damage from a coin to boost your life! Have a coin to get some help back! Any other Lumas on the planet besides the one I need to talk to to progress? I don't think so. Well, anyway, let's go. took damage. Oh, well. Now, normally when they have these panels, you actually flip them on, but in this case, you flip them off. Come on, really? I did not land on that twice game. I don't care what you say. Oh, what the? What the heck? Stop that. Unless I went over it twice as I'm a moron. Sometimes I am anyway. Turn no, no, off the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine! <clears throat> yeah, this is a grand star. That was the power star that was in that the toads were carrying in that one. Um, part of the introduction to the game that was, where it was spelling out the star the things about the star festival. Come on, <laughs> stupid weird and moat and nunchuck shenanigans. Oh, also, we're talking. Thank you. Now go see the grand star. Hey, the grand star. The grand star, grand star. I said that because it shows the picture of the Grand Star and also has the text Grand Star after it. That's why I said the Grand Star, Grand Star. You need to hurry! Take the Grand Star back to our mom! It's the Grand Star to our mom! That should be everything, so... <clears throat> Here's one of the, like for lack of a better word, one of the most epic soundtracks in the game right here. <clears throat> Fanfare, I think it's called. <laughs> I was not expecting this intro video to take over 40 minutes, but here we are.
Ma. The beacon is lit again! I'm doing the that Black Luma's voice. That's not Rosalina talking, I don't think. If it is, I apologize. It shines weak, they may be only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Luma's will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star, the star people, and my family. It means so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Colorbit of Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had leapt onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power sources. Power stars! Power stars! Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars. Beach and Bowser. And discovered the power to cross the universe. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Look. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the Power star, star, power star, star power, you restored, is this one, the terrace. Please, go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do, if we do that, we'll be able to restore the combat observatory's ability to fly like a starship. And perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Save your game. Yes. It's in the cabinet territory! You left me in the cabinet territory with Mama! Well, I'd like to go around and talk to all these Lumas and show off all their dialogue because it, I'm fairly certain. I could be wrong, but I want to say some of the Lumas dialogue. Change dialogue changes as you go throughout the game. I'm not going to bother with that because of all the extra time that would take. And this video is already going on 44 minutes. I went and I was not expecting it to probably wouldn't have expected it to be more than half an hour. But that all having been said, guys, um, and uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, I'll be uh, once I got will be beginning the videos off with Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. I will also be ending them off with that. Again, going to be beginning and ending the videos off with. Welcome back to and see you next time for more or less play Luigi Galaxy, but titling the video is Mario Galaxy because that's the name of the game. Um, let's talk to Rosalina and the Luma real quick. The Power Stars are our friends. I or crap. The Power Stars are our friends. I implore you, you please help them. And I think it just repeats the dialogue. There we go. You should go to the terrace first. Please rescue the power stars in the galaxies you see there. I think I've never actually read that dialogue before. I could be wrong, but I don't know that I ever have. Anyway, now that I've done that, that's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and are very much looking forward to watching this Let's Play as much as I am to eventually watching it as well as doing this Let's Play. And I will see you guys next time for more Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy. Bye, everybody.